This is how you run repair disk permissions. Go up to the spotlight icon, search for disk utility. Click on disk utility, that will start up the program. Then on the left hand pane you'll have a list of your different drives. The topmost drive is probably your main hard drive and the Macintosh HD underneath that is probably what you're looking for. In most cases that's the case. So click on the Macintosh HD and then go down and click on repair disk permissions. This process may take anywhere from a minute to two hours. Generally if it takes two hours there's probably something wrong. It will give you a little time estimate. In this case it's estimating one minute. It found something to fix, to repair. Now it's found some other things that it's fixing and repairing. In the meantime, while this program is running, if you want to, you can go do something else, run Microsoft Office or fire up a web browser. Here I'm firing up Firefox and going browsing the web a little bit. And the disk permissions is running in the background. Every once in a while you want to go back and check on that to make sure the disk permissions has not finished running yet. So I'm going to minimize this window and it's still running. So since it's still running I'm going to go back and do some more web browsing. Browse a little bit longer. And then I'm done with that. Come back to repair disk permissions and I see that the permissions repair is complete. Since it's complete I can now finish the program. So and quit disk utility and we're done.